we are likely all familiar with hiker's toe or jogger's toe, that bruising under the toenail that most often comes from banging a toe into the front of the shoe. But could our socks be part of the problem? Hello everyone, I'm Jason. I had just finished the ascent portion of an approach to a late spring climb, and the third toe, a shorter toe, on my left foot was aching badly. But it just didn't make any sense to me because, well, I had only really been hiking up. I was familiar with the possibility of bruising our toes from the repetitive banging we can get with our longest toe hitting the front of our shoe or boot. But that usually only happens on the downhill, and I had been very careful over the years in making sure that I found brands and models of shoes and boots that had toe boxes that worked with my foot shape. I simply hadn't been slamming my toes into the front of my boots on this approach. I pulled off my toe socks and immediately felt some relief. For going my usual setup, I decided to do the rest of the climb in just my outer socks, which have a regular toe cap. I have worn toe socks for years. Yes, on really cold days or high altitude climbs, I had stopped using them as part of a two sock system. I now opt for an insulated inner sock that is cut to the left and right feet and with strategically placed seams to avoid blisters. You can check out a link in the description to learn more about those socks and why I like them for truly cold days. But my standard practice in moderate weather has been to wear toe socks as undersocks because they have effectively eliminated blisters while also not being overly insulated. On approaches in warm weather, I would often wear just the toe socks, as the hard work and constant movement of an uphill approach in warm, crampon-compatible boots was just too hot for both sock layers. The rest of the climb in just my outer sock went fine, and the descent didn't create any additional pain. In fact, my toe was feeling progressively better as the day went on. Once home, I did a little research and stumbled into this article in Podiatry Today by Drs. John Mozina and Paul Clint Jones. I'll put a link in the description, but in essence, they are explaining how our socks can create trauma on our toes, along with what they recommend to resolve the issue. What they describe as contributing to the issue is the heel strike of your foot, which has both downward and forward momentum. If the sock's friction against the bottom of the boot is great enough to grab the sock and tug it backward, it can pull hard enough to hurt the front of the toes. That's likely what was happening to me. The doctors go on to suggest that we make sure to create a reservoir of space at the front of our socks before we place our feet into our boots or shoes. I've also noted that having a mildly sweaty single sock against a mildly sweaty insole can increase the friction, which increases the odds of the sock grabbing and being tugged back. So despite the temperature, I have begun to keep the two sock system in place, even on the approach, as the inner sock will slide more freely against the outer sock than against the boot bottom. Since making these changes, I haven't had the issue reemerge. So while my individual experience isn't enough to say that this is some wide-ranging problem that many will face, it is an interesting case study. Maybe, if you are experiencing toe pain, the lessons I learned may help you as well. Have you ever experienced the kind of pain I described? What did you do about it? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. If you like this video, maybe check out a review I did of the La Sportiva Equilibrium Top Boot to find a balance between stiff crampon compatibility and comfort on the approach. Or you might also be interested in our entire series on getting high into the Alpine. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.